Hey guys, Jared here with AndroidCentral.com. Taking a quick look at the hardware and the software on the Huawei Honor. This device, unfortunately, not currently available in the United States, though you can import it from overseas, have it unlocked, and run it on US carriers. So, taking a quick look at the hardware, on the front here you have a 4 inch capacitive touchscreen, which is a nice large screen. Uh, packs it in pretty well. The device doesn't look or feel too huge. Up top here you have your standard your earpiece uh, from facing camera to the right of it. Down the bottom your capacitive Android buttons. All the way on the bottom here we have our speaker and your microphone rather not speaker and the micro USB charging port. The right side of the device is completely smooth. The left side of the device just has a basic volume rocker. In the back here you'll find an 8 megapixel camera, which for an 8 megapixel camera doesn't do an overly amazing job. You got a small little flash next to it, doesn't help too much for indoor pictures. And a microphone or a speaker to the right rather. As you can see, you got the logo and the with Google. Take the battery cover off real quick to see what's underneath. Single piece battery cover. Uh, it's pretty slick, so I noticed that the device tends to want to fall out of your hands a little bit. You can see the camera and stuff. You have your battery. This device features a 1930 milliamp hour battery. Uh, Pretty significant battery for a device, unfortunately it uh, doesn't seem to last as long as you would expect. Your micro SD card and your SIM card slot. So we'll toss the battery back in here and snap the battery door back on and boot the device up. So as you can see it does have some uh, foreign characters and stuff in it. Like I said it is from China currently the overseas area so it's not going to you know have only English available unfortunately. A lot of the stuff inside of the device is actually available in the English language. As you know there was a uh, somewhat of a leak. It was released by Huawei themselves ice cream sandwich demo ROM. For this purpose we've kept the shipping ROM on it. Right here you can see a rather interesting lock screen design. When you're dragging it you can drag to see your call log, your messages to the left, the camera to the bottom and unlock it to the right. We'll just unlock it here you can see there's a skin on the device down the bottom here you have easy access to your favorite three apps and your app drawer and then you kind of see it has like a cube style design for rotating between screens down the bottom here you can see you have five home screens out of the box which are filled with various widgets like the weather widget calendar that type of stuff Jumping into the app drawer, you'll notice it's pretty smooth. All around the device is actually very smooth, very responsive. A couple of cool things that they've included, things such as a security guard. They actually give you cloud settings and a cloud drive. This gives you um, 160 gigabytes of online storage, which is pretty substantial. And it's free, which is definitely an awesome addition. For those who don't want to keep everything on the memory card and want to have things in the cloud. Also you can see here you can create folders. Creating them is pretty simple. Go here to edit and just drag and drop one on top of the other and it creates a folder. Go here and you can rename your folder to whatever you want. Hi and there you go you have your folder accept it, hop back to the home screen. Uh, the current most 
current version they have is Android 2.3.7 as an official they do have uh, ice cream sandwich available like I said if you hop around the forums and stuff you can actually find ways to replace the recovery image pretty simply get Google Apps running so if you were to import it do that you could ha easily have a Android uh, 4.0 powered device running just about perfectly for a pretty affordable price again the Huawei Honor it's available in five different color backplates four inch touchscreen on the front eight megapixel camera on the back it's very lightweight in the hands but it feels very sturdy the build quality on the device is definitely very high unfortunately like I said unavailable in the United States currently but it will be coming to the US on other prepaid carriers so we look forward to the release